Yo, y'all know what it is, and y'all know what it ain't. Look, check me out. You feel me? Check this out real quick. Everybody gather around. I have not taken a hiatus because there's no material. I like to see how y'all be in the comment section. Not my comment section, but just what y'all think about bloggers and shit. I really don't consider myself a blogger, but I get what y'all say. Y'all think the YouTube streets dry. It's never dry when you a real individual, and you look at the world from... A different eye. I'm not coming at you with no conspiracy theories like, I, oh, I got I got a third eye. Nah, I don't got no third eye for now. But I sit back and I observe. I don't really care about the baby and Danny, Danny Lane. Me and my bitch argue every day. Why we ain't famous yet? I ain't trying to hear that. Next topic. Oh, this and this going on. Mama Duck supposedly been jumped. Don't believe it. Don't believe the hype. Trust me. Ain't nobody touched that lady. Next topic. You know something I've been thinking about, though? And I'm gonna keep it real with y'all for them. I've been, I've been, I don't wanna say I've been trying not to make a video, folks, because it's like this need, this, this subject need to be out here. It needs to be heard. And I don't think everybody really even checking up on this man. Like, is you okay, bro? What's to you? You know, you don't, I understand you ain't the same, but what, what, what's your thinking like? You know, when you check up on your homie, people like to check up on your people, they don't always mean check and see if he's still alive, make sure he's breathing, make sure your homie ate something, make sure his, his mental capacity is okay. Because honestly, since FBG Duck died, everybody else been looking good. They been looking like a million bucks. Actually, up in a million bucks. Everybody is up, Wooski. If you watch this live right here, bro, I was just screen recording this with my girl. Because she used to, quote unquote, have a crush on this nigga. And it's just like, I never, you know what I'm saying? I never met the dude. So it's like, I, you know what I mean? That don't mean nothing to me. I actually was rooting for the dude. I'm always the type of person who's going to root for you even if I don't know you. As long as you're doing something. Successful And as I'm watching this live I'm like damn baby It hurt to watch him it, Like it hurt To look at dude Right now on the screen Not saying That he's Quote unquote a vegetable Or I was reading the comments On his own Instagram live People were saying He a special ed student People was calling him uh, Radio They were just they was, they was coming at my bro But that's what you can expect After You obviously not the same Physically or mentally After a headshot But as I'm watching it bro It's like I'm watching the live I'm like who really Checking up on this man who making sure he got an I'm from 63rd chain? Ain't nobody coming to run, coming around putting some new Jordans on Wooski feet. Y'all can sit up here and say he a grown man, he do what he do, and that's when the excuses come in. That's why I be trying to understand when y'all come at bloggers, like, oh, you, this sound like you dry snitching, or oh, you ain't minding your business. Y'all right, but then I'm also right, so I don't want to hear what the trolls got to say, but you got to look at everything from different angles. He's a grown man. He probably getting a slow check right now, so he got some money to do. Oh, I ain't gonna say the slow check. God forgive me, cause I work in the I work in the mental health field. We call that stuff behavior, not even handicap. It's called behavioral health care. However you can word it with that word, that's what we call them. But we don't use the word slow, retarded, none of that. But his mental illness, that's what I'm saying. His mental illness was brought on by an inflicted gunshot wound that come from him devoting his life to a group of guys who not even gonna take care of him when he needed the most. And that always reminds me of what my mom used to say. She always say, get you a girl who's going to wipe your ass when you can't. Get you a homie who's going to shoot the blick even if you dead. He just want to make sure. You get what I'm saying? You got to have somebody around you who care about your well-being. And that's what, like I was saying, because I don't want to get too far off the topic. But like I was saying, where you can't keep on using the excuse as Wooski, a grown man. And I'm speaking as far as the people around him. If you out here getting money, you up in half a million dollars cash, young. Dutchie got a new grill. He didn't even get his teeth fixed. He went straight to go get a, a grill, fo. He didn't even get the little t the chip tooth replaced. He just put diamonds on top of it. Okay, that's cool. But what about Wooski, fo? This nigga Air Force Ones is folding up like a lawn chair. You hear me? I know his toes hurting the motherfuckers, fo. They bent too far back. Them bitches not an elbow, fo. And then you see his head, bro. Y'all let this man put the puff balls in his head, fo. The puff balls. It's just sad, man. And like I said, I, I'm so emotionally... I get what y'all saying, bro. I get what y'all saying. Rico, you just saying this for views of clout. You don't really care about Wooski. I do. I do, nigga. He, I was, like I just said, my girl had a crush on the phone, so I, I was forced. Computers had to grow on me. I wasn't a fan of that song because once you once that song was out for four, five years already by the time Wooski hopped on it, I wasn't interested in hearing no more Computers remix. But when I heard and I listened to it, that was some lyrical drill, bro. Like, he was talking that shit. And it was like, I wanted more from him. Just like with the King Von situation. I expected more out of his life. 
And so, but this is where the friends got to come into play. Wooski a grown man. I get it. He probably don't want your help. That's a lie. That's a lie. If you see Wooski with cash and all that, he pretty much the little brother now. You know how everybody got a group? I, hey, you probably watching this, my boy. Shout out my boy JT. But he like the little brother of the group. He ain't the smallest or nothing. But it's certain different aspects about a person that make you consider them your little brother. You get what I'm saying? And so Wooski turn it's from the bodyguard to the little brother of the block. And it's like they not trying to come through and even check on his well-being, like I said in the beginning of this interview. I mean, the beginning of this video. Speaking of interviews, when I see Wooski do his interviews, bro, and you look into his eyes, even his mugshot, he's no longer all the way there. He'll never fully recover. He probably hit something in his brain and that no amount of medicine or surgery could fix. So the Wooski that we got is the Wooski that's going to be here to stay. But cash... FBG Cash. Everybody want to say he a snake and how he backdoor people. He ain't backdoor duck, but he most definitely forgot about people. Wooski the only person when Duck died, he didn't he didn't up a road. He didn't have a road up. I see Young steady showing the statistics and the algorithm for Duck music. Let me see what that Wooski song made. Because that came out on Cloud Boys Approved. You think I forgot? That song did, what, 11 million views, 21 million views? With me being a content creator, I can guarantee you 1 million views is $4,000. You hear me? I already know the price on the head. 1 million views is three to $4,000. And y'all trying to tell me y'all didn't get a single dime off this man's music. Without repeating myself too much, this is where the friends come into play. It's only so much you can allow a friend to do before you step in like, I got you, my boy. You need a job? Huh, here go an application. You, you trying to trap? Huh, let me bring you to the block. But it's obviously that FBG and had that type of connection with each other, like how the old block and the OTF camp had. They had each other back through thick and thin. They never even really went to social media besides a couple 600 members over the years to get on each other's ass. So when I see FBG Wooski out here with the puff balls and the beat up ass shoes, folks. You could at least go put the force field in your ones, but if you don't got no force field in your ones, for you know you ain't got it all. And I ain't trying to discredit or talk down on no man. But could you say your friends, really your friends, if they let you stay out here hurting and you know you need help? Get in the comment section. Let me know what you think below. I'm, I'm done.